Hello guys, welcome to Teen Titans HD number 7 review. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Anyway, that was McDonald's. I'm not eating McDonald's right now. So let's go without wasting any time. Let's go to Teen Titans HD number 7. So yeah, the uh, I have found a review from We Science DC Comics and this review is from Chris. He has done a phenomenal job writing this review so I'm gonna read that one anyway it starts Jackson arrives and we learn that this is the first time he's ever seen the ocean and he dives in the Teen Titans engage in battle with King Shark and it doesn't go as swimmingly as Robin might have hoped after a Titanic or snafu after a Titanic snafu King Shark escapes back to Alcatraz where we meet his army of reborn shark faced inmates. Maybe you guys have remember it from the Aquaman thing because I remember in the Aquaman that was also same thing was going on. So anyway, back at the tower, Jackson pleads his case to join the team. Robin informs him that they are not interested in any unsolicited auditions. And yes, this is going to end, end exactly the way you think it will. Over the news, the gang learns the bony chung is being held at Alcatraz by their hammer-headed foe. After telling Jackson to hit the brakes one last time, the titans head out. The gang makes relatively short work of the uglies while Robin and King Shark duke it out by the show. Damon is easily overpowered by the gargantuan brute and just before the king can land a killing blow, that's right, Jackson shows up to save the day. We wrap up with Jackson becoming a probationary member of the Teen Titans and King Shark reporting back to his mysterious benefactor. So anyway, this was the gist of the story or you can say the overall plot of the story i could have finished it if i wanted i could have finished this review if i wanted to make this review kind of saying with the title teen titans issue number seven in one minute or less or maybe in two minutes or less so i could have finished this issue but i don't want to finish that issue so fast because reviewing makes me really energetic and this reviewing this comic kind of books or you can say this kind of comic books is really refreshing so I let's talk about the artwork this artwork is overall medium class because it's not too much detail the detail on the artwork is based on they focused on the layout and the consideration of composition composition wise it's pretty great when they are talking to someone else the camera point of view is really good and it's handiwork and you can focus on who is talking or who is not and what is the important focus should be in that one so what i have just read from the review uh what i was telling right now that was not from the review by chris that was i'm saying but before that i was saying that was a review from chris anyway it's getting uh, i'm sorry it's getting really in circle or loopy so yeah let me tell you that uh, chris has finished this whole storyline in just in two minute review but that is so so cool because he has just covered the whole story and then what he was talking about that um, this water guy comes saves damien those kind of thing it just he has just written it amazingly in just one sentence so what he has written Another thing that we have noticed, what I dug, Damien's dependence on playbooks that no one else on the team could be bothered reading was a hoot. It reminds me of reading old X-Men comics and having Cyclops of or Professor X instruct the team to use Plan Q while training in the danger room. So I had always wondered how they could remember an entire alphabet's worth of plans and maneuvers. The brief romantic eye contact moment between Raven and Kit Flash is probably nostalgia talking but I can't help but think back to a time when Raven was sort of kinda in relationship with different Kit Flash. Similarly, I really liked seeing how well the entire team worked together after the initial maneuver ex Nafu, their second go round went off without a hitch. I'm happy that Jackson actually joined the team here. I was afraid his induction was going to drag on a bit. If not for next month's Lazarus contract crossover, it very well 
might have so anyway at the end the thing just happened i have already told you that we wrap up with jackson becoming a probationary member of the teen titans and king shark reporting back to his mysterious benefactor that is black manta okay maybe you guys have shocked so anyway hope you guys have enjoyed this review and this video and still i'm telling you uh, i'm trying to better my voice or i'm trying to tell better way to speak so that would be really great and right now uh, what I'm gonna say goodbye and uh, have a great day amigos